Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Ruby Dung, and welcome back. I've been doing a little bit of work mining around. Uh, still having some minor resource problems, but I'm keeping a nice steady stream. Uh, been getting a good amount of iron and stuff. Is this where this was? No, this is not where that was. But here's that cave previously, I think, was in the other episode is. Uh, so I've mined right through that. And I also found another cave. Uh, where was that one? That one was somewhere like... Not here, but you probably should be lit for now. Um... Where was that other one? Actually, was it this one? I don't think it... No, it was not this one. Uh, it was somewhere around here. You can... Was it here? Okay, it doesn't matter where it was. Hopefully. Uh, but there was a very large cave that, uh... Somewhere around there. Uh, and that I got a nice amount of resources, uh, from. And I also was digging up this area where... Uh, almost, with the, uh, the exception of that little area over there, uh, at the halfway point. So, with this chunk here, uh, we will be hitting the halfway point of the mob system, because this here is a quarter. This chunk here marks the halfway point, and here is the mob tube, where we'll have to put some way to get the mobs to get to the surface. Um, but I already have uh, a couple of plans for today. I'd like to get that tube up and working, but I want to do a little bit of testing uh, involving uh, something that happened last episode that was in some of the patch notes from a few weeks ago. Wait, why did I get this out of my inventory? So I'll put that away. Um, but yeah, uh, if something wasn't indi uh, if you didn't notice something there, you'll probably give you an idea of what I want to try experimenting with. So, I'll catch you here in just a second with the setup. Alright, everybody, to start off with what I was thinking about today, we need to do a handful of things. First off, as you may notice, I decided to torch up quite a bit of things. Still need to torch up quite a bit more. I need that entire land over there torched, and I don't really need that over there torched yet, but it would be nice for the future. I want as much of this as torched as I physically can. If I can see it, I want it torched. Uh, but secondly, I need that portal and that portal to be, well, that portal to be broken. That one can stay. That one stays, but this one, first off, needs to get broken. So I need to go over here and break this portal so I can start the experiment. By the way, let's start breaking, and I'll catch back up with you guys in a second. Alright, so, uh, portal primary is gone, as you can see. Uh, I left the base of it, though, uh, but portal secondary is uh, still here. So first thing I want to see is if I go to the portal, always create a new portal, or does it do something? else. Okay, so I'm out. I'm back in. Okay. Okay, so this is the same portal I went through. I didn't do it for that one. So that meant that portal didn't make it, but because this is naturally generated, does that mean, uh, that, uh, this one will always link there. However, that's not the only test I have planned for today. Okay, there's a thing over there that I don't like. I'm digging into this wall. Okay, next test I want to do is... What if I build... Oh, this big one. What if I build, um... Another one of these, but in this dimension, it says that you can travel a lot. It says you can travel hundreds of blocks, according to the um, uh, the post in the patch notes. It doesn't say how many, though, so I'm curious. Uh, how many blocks should I try? Uh, 
This is probably fine. So, uh, ooh, my pixel is dead. Uh, also brought a lot of obsidian for this. Uh, but yes, okay. Let's make the portal. Okay, that's dead. Um, you are having a better pick at this exact moment. It's probably excruciatingly dark. So let's, uh, yeah. Okay, so it's three, then there's the corner. So, uh, there's the one, and then the corner here. Okay. So like that, what happens now? Same place. Okay. But now where does this take me? Okay, it takes me here. So what? If I just want to keep trying this, I make another one using this one. Is that a thing I can do? I want to see. Because it has the line of obsidian, so am I able to make multiple portals? Like, hmm. Oh, it's the wrong shape. Fascinating. Okay. The more we know. Corner. There we are. Okay. So I, you are able to use the same adjoining block, but where does, does this take me back to the same portal again? Another. Yes, it does. Okay. So no matter where you build the portal in the Nether. You always go back to the same uh, same spot. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay then. Luckily, I have some portals in here. Now I'm curious. Uh, so if I break this, let's say. What if I go really far away? Like, really far, like, a hundred blocks or something. What would happen? Or even, maybe it's because these two portals... Are these two portals linked together now? I'm really curious how these things work, because it says you can travel hundreds of blocks. Is this what that means? Is that you can... Travel a hundred blocks in the nether, build yourself another portal, and travel back to the exact same spot? Or is that... Because I feel like that's uh, not what that means. It feels like the portals do something different. It's super dark in here now. Um, okay, what if I light this one, but not that one? Does this take me to the same spot? Yes, it does. Okay. What the heck is going on with the water? What? Okay, that's interesting. Ah! Alright, so. Uh. We can break this again. Okay. Now, what if I just go this way? What happens? What if I just keep going this way until I run into something? I don't know. Like a cave, maybe. Uh, let's use this box. Oh, by the way, apparently, uh, these blocks that, uh, I'm mining right now 
are capable of being lit forever. So fire uh, stays on it. It's not. It, it doesn't burn. So it's like stone uh, that it's not flammable, but you can light it and it stays on fire. So it doesn't go away. By the way, this might be a good spot here. Yeah, let's try it here. There we go. Okay. And this back. Ooh, that's a drop. Okay. So, I need you to go up another two for the corners. Okay, and then this one. Okay, what happens now? Oh! I'm somewhere else now. How far away am I? What? Yeah, that is a great question. Where am I? Um, sun setting. I probably should go back to the portal. I see. Is that the ocean over there? Yeah, I'm nowhere close to him. Okay, so yeah, this took me hundreds of blocks away, it looks like. I need to get back to the portal. Uh, blah, blah. No, there's an ocean that way. Oh, crap. Um, okay. See, so, yeah, so this is a new form of fast travel, then. Better than rails, it looks like. Why did I leave this open? <laughs> ah! What the heck? Huh. Huh. Let's go back in before something kills us. Okay. Let's see, yeah, we went a very. Where was a gas there? Okay. Uh, okay, Mr. Ghost. Alright, I don't think I can go through that portal, but I have additional portals here that I know work due to my testing. That guy's super close. This is greatest drops. I'm not gonna figure out and look that up on my own time. Um but yeah, let what's ha oh wait, my clock doesn't work. My clock's not working. Huh. I guess there isn't a sun here. Or I guess it's uh hmm. But yeah, let me mine out this obsidian, and I will be right back with you guys with some additional experiments. Alright, next test. Uh, let's see how far this actually is. So, I measured where the sun is in the sky, so it's that way. So, our base is somewhere in this direction. So, let's just walk for a little bit and see if we can find... Alright, I've been walking for a little while here, it's about midday now, um, and I'm still not seeing where I started. So I think I need to go back to uh, the portal, go back to spawn, get myself a compass, 
and try that again. So I'll catch you guys here in another second. Found the portal. Okay. I could keep exploring, but uh, let's just go through the portal and uh, do what we planned. So I'll catch you guys here in a second. Alright, I got myself a compass. Apparently it too also just kind of swivels around, uh, similar to the clock. But let's see, it is this way. I was completely incorrect in which direction I needed to go. Fascinating. Huh. Okay, then. I presumed it would have been on either side of the portal, because... Oh, ooh, leads. Let's grab the leads. Uh, I presumed, uh, because of the direction the portal was facing was indicative of uh, more, but I guess it wasn't. Let's grab these reeds. Um, and then we can begin checking out where the... Uh, how far away we actually are. Oh, wait a second, I see torches. I think, okay, so just that way. Okay, so th the direction of this portal was correct, the direction of that one wasn't. So if I just head, uh, do, what would that be? Sun sets in the east, right? No, sun rises, oh, what? It doesn't matter. Uh, over there, uh, I found something cool that I uh, guess I'll show you. Well, it's not important, really. Uh, it's a zombie spawner. Uh, just, like, right under the water level. I guess I can show it to you guys real quick. How much day? Okay, it's about midday. I can get back there real quick. Um, da -da -da -da. My face is right there. It's probably quicker if I just go this way. Uh, here it is. And that's Zombie, I believe. And I already uh, looted this place, so... Uh, if, uh, this is the second spawner I found. There was also a spider one. I have exactly zero memory of where it is. Uh, and yeah, there's a whole bunch of, like... Oh, why did I go down there? Oh, you heard the zombie. Uh, but yeah, uh, I guess I'll catch back up with you guys here in a second. I'm heading back to base. I don't need to be going out back that direction. So yeah. Uh, but I believe, actually, well, I guess today that concludes uh, our experiments with uh, all these little portals and stuff. Well, that's all, all the questions I really had for now, anyways, that I could think of. I might have more. I might have had, like, thousands. These things are so weird with how they interact with dimensions and stuff. There's so many things I need to figure out. Like, I need to figure out how long the linking distance is. So many things I can uh, I need to know about, but that's all the stuff I'll probably be showing on camera, really, because a lot of that is pretty tedious. But uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you now know how to think with portals. That's a dumb joke. In case anyone doesn't get this, this is a chell um from the uh, Valve's portal. Uh. So yeah, now I know that thing with portals. Congratulations. Uh, I guess I'll get back to doing some grind work. So I'll catch you guys at some point, I'm sure. Anyways, guys, I believe that's probably enough time for today's episode. I uh, will be catching you guys again at the next one. Uh, for the next episode, I think we will be dealing with this. Uh, we need to begin setting up a way to transport mobs from down here, whenever this gets set up, uh, all the way up to the surface. And this will be at the center of my base. So, once this comes up, I guess I will set up whatever this thing is going to be, and then I'll set up the uh, beginnings of a base. So look forward to that one next episode, but that'll be it for me today. See ya!